Hey guys, Vitality here and welcome back to a brand new solo series. In today's video, I claim a starter rat hole location that gets me quite far ahead of my competition and fight my way through a few raids for some decent loot. But like the start of any solo series, this story begins in a humble stone base on Genesis 2 where I began to farm up the essentials. Whilst taming a Maywing, I had found a small stone base with one heavy I was determined to raid, but first I needed to wait for the metal and gunpowder to come in. Alright, we got a fabricator, we got the gunpowder, and we got the metal, so we shouldn't be too far off a C4 detonator. In all honesty, I think we can afford to go and raid this base right now. I don't really see why not. Can't really be bothered to do any renovations to this stone base, so we're just gonna chuck the fabricator on the roof. We'll get the job done for now. Hopefully nobody rolls up on us. <laughs> we are in the open, but I think it should be fine. So the base I'm trying to raid has only got one turret, but one turret is quite a lot for Prim Flak, so I'm going to make a riot shield just in case. Okay, I think this should be an easy enough raid. Um, oh, that's a bit scary. It's only one heavy, but I am wearing Prim Flak, so it, things might go south. We're just going to have to see. I don't think the turret should shoot me if I run up to the wall, though. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Alright, I'll just replace my flak quickly. Hopefully I shouldn't get hit back here. Just gonna destroy that outlet very quickly. Uh, you know what, I'll just turn the turret off. Okay, this is actually looking kind of fat, uh, especially for a first raid. I'm going to go and start collecting the metal through these forges. Looks like they've got about 65 in each. Which isn't too bad for someone just starting up. Oh, that one had quite a bit in it, actually. 320! Jeez, these guys were grinders. I'm excited to see what's in those fabricators. Oh, okay. Some bullets. Power generator. Smithy is kind of stacked as well. Yeah, we've definitely made a massive profit here. That uh, thousand gunpowder as well. It's pretty much made sure we can make another 10 C4, so we should be able to hit some more bases, hopefully. Overall, very successful first raid. It's a, it's a good sign of things to come, I think. We're off to a good start. I just saw someone fly past on a Maywing, so not too sure how much longer this base actually has left. I might start uploading some of the more important stuff before I head out. Just in case we do get hit because I got quite a decent amount of metal from that raid. And uh, yeah, I'd hate to lose it all. Before I upload everything though, I just want to make a chainsaw very quickly. I think we should have everything. So yeah, once this is crafted up, I'm probably going to upload the metal. The cementing paste as well, and then I'll head to extinction to get some electronics. Once we get enough for a few heavies, I'll start moving everything over to the rat hole I want to claim. Uh, but yeah, things are going quite well for sure. I'm fairly confident we should have everything we need to prefab a proper base, so we can move into the rat hole I want to claim. I'm not expecting anyone to be built in it because it's kind of a bad rat hole, but just in case somebody is, I'll make a couple of C4 as well. Uh, but yeah, the rat hole's not crazy defendable, I just think it's in a really good spot to farm up in the early game. So I think it'll do us quite well. We can make an Indie Forge, which is nice, and eight turrets! Jeez, I don't think I need that many. Might get a chem bench, and then we'll see how much we can make after that. Seven, okay. You know what, let's make six, and then we should be able to make a refrigerator as well. Because I need to save some resources for the C4. 15 C4? Yeah, that should be enough. We might actually just get 10, and then we can put the rest of the gunpowder into bullets. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have such a fat kit on the way to this base location. I really hope we don't see anybody along the way. I think hopefully we should be okay though. Alright, so we've successfully claimed the rat hole I wanted to take. It's just here on the map on Crystal Isles, and it's quite spacious. It's not amazingly defendable as I said earlier, but I think it should be okay for day one and day two. 
I think the best thing about it is how close it is for resources. There's just metal everywhere around it. And uh, this lake down here is like stacked to the brim full of silica pearls. People love to farm in there, so I'm thinking of setting up a turret tower. And hopefully we can collect some kits. Uh, but yeah, I've got a bit of work to do to set this pace up. I've just set up some turrets temporarily, just while I get everything over here. Looks like I'm going to have to clear some foundations from somewhere. Um, I've got no idea where they are. <laughs> Alright, I got it. I think it's just some random thatch foundation in the water here. Alright, yeah, it looks like the location has been successfully claimed. I'm going to start working on the defenses. I might set up a bit of a wall here. And yeah, we'll see where we go from there. So I just took the mining drill to Scorched Earth to farm up a little bit of flint. Uh, because, yeah, we're running low on ammo. It's really the last thing we need to defend our base. And as you can see above me, there's actually... It looks like it's a rat hole. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, but I really want to raid it. I think it should be doable. Um, the issue is, I think it might already be getting fobbed at the moment. Oh no. There's just two separate tribes living so close to each other. Okay, well that's two raid targets, I guess. I'm just going to finish up farming up some flint, because um, I want at least like a thousand bullets in each turret before I leave the base comfortably. Then I might start getting into some raiding. I think I can just grapple under that base and, yeah, get it from underneath. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Alright, I'm going to give you a tour of what I've managed to achieve so far. It's actually quite a lot, considering we're in probably the most popular spot in Crystal Isles. I've seen like 18 people fly past my base, and yeah, every single one of them have given it a look. So we're definitely going to be a raid target for a few people. Probably can't live here for too long, uh, but I'll worry about that a bit later. As you can see, I've got a decent wall up, I think, and we've got some turrets here as well. Each turret's got like 500 to 400 bullets, um, so I think it should be enough. I've got a huge amount of spark powder crafting, so we should be able to get that number even higher. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just preparing to raid that base on Scorched Earth I saw earlier. I've probably got to hit it soon, because otherwise somebody else is going to take it from me. I'm just waiting on Poly for C4. Uh, but we can make 14, which will probably be enough. I might take a rocket launcher as well. Uh, but yeah, once that's crafted up, I'll start heading over. Okay, I'm here at the Scorched Earth base I saw earlier. While I was doing a flint run, I came across this one. And uh, yeah, I'm keen to see what it's got. It's built quite weirdly, so I think we should be able to get into it quite easily. Um, uh, but yeah, I did bring a battery heavy, just because of the Parasaur. I doubt they'll be online, we're kind of getting into that downtime area for the servers, but just in case they are. Didn't want to take any chances. Uh, this might be a little bit more difficult than I first anticipated. <laughs> I got a new tactic at the moment. I'm trying to soak the auto turret to see if I can get any higher up. Because um, I think it's blocking my way. Gone through a few right shields though. Ooh. So yeah, if I can't do this, then I don't think this raid will be possible right now. Hey, I think we got it. Alright. Uh, not actually sure if this will make it any more possible. But I'm willing to give it a red hot go. Yeah, we got it! We got it! Finally! I didn't think it was ever going to happen. <laughs> now, can I get all the way up here? I can. So, what's above me right now? Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm totally under the base. Alright, where's the generator? Okay, it's right there. Yeah, those turrets are down. Awesome. Awesome. We're in the base. I still have a battery heavy outside, so we should be protected against any counters. We'll just wait for this wreckage to settle. 
Uh, did I get both of them? Yeah, he's dead. He's still sleeping. We'll just kill him quickly. Nice. A uh, bit of hide. Nothing too crazy on this guy. Nothing on him at all. Refrigerator. Ooh, okay. A fertilized PT egg. I'll throw... Um, the Mantis is nice, actually. And I guess, yeah, I'll take the Volonosaurs as well. Decent amount of spark powder. Is that the generator? Yeah. I'm guessing most of their stuff is just going to be in their vault. Yeah, smithy. Kind of empty, but another PT egg, which is nice. Fabricator. Ooh. Okay. 23C4. We've definitely made that back. That crystal is so nice as well. Crystal was probably the only thing holding me back resource-wise. Um, but yeah, that ARB is amazing as well. Thank God we got some more C4. I really didn't want to have to go back to base to uh, break that vault. Oh, so much metal as well. These guys were grinders. Jeez, yeah, these guys were fat. Alright amount of ammo in their turrets as well. I'll probably end up getting uh, that heavy on my way out. How's my fob looking still up? Alright, let's check this vault out. Um, okay, not much, not much at all. Alright, I'll take it. Definitely happy about the, the cryos, the crystal and the ammo. Pretty much just solved what we were looking for and of course that metal is amazing as well. That's like 200,000 metal. Yeah, I was not farming that much as a solo player, so I'd say it's been a pretty good raid. I think there's a base right next door. I've got to see if it's still standing, um, but I think we can raid that as well before we leave here. Although I might depot first, honestly. Alright, I just thought I should update you guys on the progress of the base. I've added some pipes up here because I wanted to get some plant species X. It's super annoying to deal with when you're raiding a base that has some. And uh, yeah, I just, I really want to annoy the people that are trying to raid me. So these two are both irrigated and they're seeded. Um, we're just going to have to probably tame a dung beetle to get some fertilizer going. But aside from that, it's looking quite good. I did a pretty wank job with the piping down there, but it's working. Um, can't complain. <laughs> I'll probably end up chucking some barrels down there as well so we can get some beer production on the way. Uh, but yeah, things are going good. Just thought I should give you guys this quick update. <laughs> so, I just flew into a base. Not sure if you can tell, my Maywing is quite damaged. Um, definitely went through it. It's really close to my base, so I think I should probably take it out. There's quite a few heavies, so you're probably thinking, how on earth is that going to be possible? It looks like their outlet is sticking through the wall. Oh my god, it is. Oh, he's online though, that's the only thing. Alright, you know what, I might come back in an hour and see if he's still there. I don't really know how to raid that um, online. I know it's kind of cowardly to not do it when he's online, but... That's just a little bit... <laughs> It's too many turrets for Prim Flak, I think. So yeah, hopefully he doesn't realize I can flame arrow that outlet and then we should have another raid today. I'm just over on Ragnarok at the moment, looking for some turtles to tame. I got a 140 over here and a 135, so pretty good finds. 4k HP, that seems pretty good. What about this one? 3.2, okay, we might take the 4k here. I've got a couple of females, um, but they're not amazing. If you guys could leave down below what you think is decent uh, turtle HP, I'd greatly appreciate that. I really don't know what the best HP for a turtle is, um, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. The only reason I'm taming them up at the moment is to raid rat holes. And uh, yeah, in the early game, I guess health doesn't matter too much. But I'm excited to see what this comes out to. Let's have a look. 5.1. That's quite good, I think. That's not terrible. We're going to have to get an egg out of this to see how many points it is exactly. Uh, but 5.1k is not too bad. We'll get these back to base and we'll start breeding them, I think. And then, yeah, we might check on that base I saw earlier and see if that guy's offline. <laughs> Alright, we're back. It's a little bit later. It's been about one or two hours, something like that. Haven't really been keeping track of the time. And uh, yeah, we're going to hope for a miracle here. Hopefully he's offline. 
I know it's like, kind of sucks for me to be raiding somebody that's offline, but it's just so much easier. And like, there's no way I could run that many turrets in Prim Flag. <laughs> okay, yeah, I should be able to get this. Oh, I'm liking the look of those trike eggs in there as well. Okay, this is gonna be fat. Please don't be online. Did I get them all? I think I did, right? Third arrow, we got them all. All right, it's time to get the C4 all down as quickly as possible. Oh, he is offline. Awesome. All right. This man's like playing rust. He's got solid airlocks. <laughs> Alright, that's everything. Time to start going through the bags, I guess. I think this is just going to be unbelievably fat. Loadout mannequin, we've got some batteries, we've got an ichthy. Um, nothing too crazy in there, I guess. Yeah, there wasn't much ammo either. The batteries are nice, though. I'm guessing he keeps his uh, cryo tames in here, maybe. Some more loadout mannequins over there. Kinda wanna see what these eggs are though first. Cause I think those are trikes. Oh no, they're Volonosaurs. Wyvern egg, Bloodstalkers, okay. I'll take those eggs. Nothing really in the chem bench. Honestly, nothing that crazy in the main base. I thought it would be a bit fatter than it was. But there's still these loadout mannequins, so there might be a bit more in here. Actually, why am I seeing boring these? We can literally shoot them. Alright, first one. Uh, huge amount of medbrews, that's so nice. Bit of riot gear as well. A trike, that's not bad. What on earth? We actually have a flak BP on day one. That's cracked. Holy. A shield BP as well, okay. Okay. Sorry, I probably got way too excited over that, but... It is not often that we get BPs on day one. It's a rare event. <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to that at all. That's actually so amazing. I mean, 500 Jura is not too bad as well. Yeah, I'm really happy with that, Jeez. Oh, we got a helmet BP as well, kind of, for Riot. It's not really the same, but it's still pretty good. I guess we can use that. I'll take that, you know. That's not bad. Last mannequin. Um, we got Turtle Saddle, okay. Uh, looks like a bunch of random flak. Really decent Mantis Saddle, Rock Golem Saddle. Oh, we got a Trike, 33 armor. Okay, yeah, this raid has actually been amazing. I'm gonna depot this flak BP and then I'm gonna probably come back and kill their teams just in case you might be storing stuff on there. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with that. Pretty much got a flak boots BP and a helmet BP. The helmet is Riot, so it's not as good, um, but it's better than Prim Flag, for sure. Alright, I think I'm going to end today's episode here. We've gotten quite a lot done today. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. I don't think I've actually gotten this much done on any day one ever. I mean, the Flag BP is a massive help, and uh, yeah, the, the turtle line that we've got going is going to be great as well. I'm pretty happy with the defenses. Um, still need to get some fertilizer for that plant species X, but aside from that, I think we should be okay up here. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the base. In tomorrow's video though, I definitely want to get that boss fight done and I'll probably end up moving the base as well, if not next episode, the one after. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely going to make this into a longer series, so make sure to subscribe and stick around if you're interested in that. Leave a like if you haven't already and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.